drafted by Washington. We'll go on to some questions. Uh, that's the dream come true, uh, being drafted. And then getting a chance to play um, in D.C. where I played two years in college. Uh, it was a true blessing. Otto, congratulations to you. The Vata has so much to talk about. And right here to your right. To your right. To your right. <laughs> I know I'm a short guy. So. But, um, but wanted to ask you, uh, what will you be able to um, bring to the Washington Wizards, especially with your first little game? Uh, talk about how you can be able to get playing time immediately and be able to help that team become better because they're starting to be on the cusp mm -hmm. of being an AFC. You know, so. Yeah, um, I feel like I can come in and give a lot of you right off the bat. You know, give them, you know, that lift that they need. You know, be that glue guy that brings the team together. You know, and come to the bar and have a winning mentality all the whole time. Congratulations. Thank you. Otto, Steve Kyler, USA Today Sports. We talked in the elevator about this. This is probably the least stressful uh, of all the picks, but how much Washington Wizards basketball have you watched and talked about the idea of playing with John Wall and Bradley Bill? I watch quite a few. You know, I play there, so I catch a few games every now and then when I'm not playing or anything like that. But um, just to see you know, where I can fit in um, and help with uh, John Wall and Bill and, and the rest of the guys and see that they really need help in my position. So. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Uh, fun run. Big picture slam magazine. Everyone, everyone was saying that you were one of the guys who was most NBA ready coming into this draft. What are your thoughts on that, and what are your realistic expectations for yourself in your rookie season? Um, I feel like I am, you know, 100% ready. You know, I feel like my game can transpire to the next level um, a lot easier. Um, that's what I say to because I'm very versatile. I can do many things on the court, offensively and defensively. And, uh, just to bring it to the next level, the transition is still going to be tough, you know, but um, I think it's going to be the best. Hey, Otto, Kyle, from Talking Hoops, how you doing? Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you. You know, getting to the next level, you mentioned that you think you gave in transition. Where did you? Where do you think you excel the most at, and where, where can you contribute immediately? Well, I feel like I can contribute on the defensive side immediately. Um, being the next guy to rotate around, um, the next guy to defend um, and get rebounds uh, to lead to our offense and open up the court. So I think I can definitely bring it immediately. Auto team left. Um, I know you said, again, you grew up you highlighting your dad as your favorite player. What was it like to share this moment with him and have your family here just to be there with you to, to, to experience this? Uh, it was... Uh, it was amazing you know, uh, to see the smile on his face and my mom's face. Uh, you know, all the hard work they put into me and raised me you know, the right way. You know, and it's finally paid off for me. Otto, Otto, how are you doing? Uh, Kyle Weedai, yeah, ESPN True Hoop. You didn't take the AAU route like a lot of other guys in this draft and a lot of drafts. So what, can you talk about what led you to make that decision? <clears throat> I think um, just wanting to be good, you know, wanting to do something with basketball. And, um, I felt like in the summertime, you know, why travel all over the place, you know, to play a couple of games, you know, why not just stay home and work on your game yourself, you know. You know that you're doing something every day, you know, to get you better. So I feel like that was the best way to do it. Um, hey, it paid off. Otto, you come from a rich, um, <clears throat> basketball tradition in Georgetown, and there have been so many graduates that have gone on to have tremendous careers. Have you been in touch with those graduates, and what advice have they given you? Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, from all the recent you know, NBA picks um, from Georgetown, you know, Jeff Green, Roy Hibbert, and Greg Monroe, um, I talked to those guys a lot during this process. And, um, they're the ones that, you know, told me they and announced uh, what to expect you know, from the NBA um, and how the transition is going to go. You know. But at the end of the day, they told me, hey, just enjoy it. You know, this is a once in a lifetime you know, process. Uh, it's a joy. Hey, uh, Lloyd Carroll from the Queens Chronicle. Uh, obviously, you're a fine player, but do you think Monumental Sports made a decision to draft you to hopefully help sell some tickets in the Verizon Arena at 
Also, since you're in Georgetown, so in D.C., are you going to be able to finish up your college education since you're going to be playing in the same town? Um, I mean, that's on my part, you know, but um, I think they really brought me there to help the organization win, and, and that's what I'm going to do when I go there. So. What about the, are you going to work on your degree while you're still while you're playing out down there? Definitely. Thank you, Adam.